G'day everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing how I install my Nature's Head composting toilet in my bus. Now I'm going to have a whole separate video on why I chose to get a Nature's Head toilet and how it all works, how you set it up and everything like that. I'll have a whole separate video on that. Just for today I want to get it actually installed in the bus with the air vent and everything installed and the wiring to the fan connected as well. So this is the space where the toilet's going to be installed. It's underneath my bathroom vanity at the very back of the bus. And you can see here I've got the bolts from the water tank, the grey tank that's actually underneath the floor here, coming up through the floor that I'll need to build around. But my idea is that the toilet will be on here and it will be on a floor that can slide out. So when I want to use it, it'll pull out this way and I've got plenty of leg room uh, in there to be able to use it and because it's right at the back of the bus when it comes time to empty the toilet I'll be able to just pull it out um, out the back door here so the plan is um, that I'm going to have like a little bit of a raised floor it only needs to be about 20 mil off the floor to clear the bolts here um, and there was a few I considered a few options with this one of them was draw like actually putting it on drawer slides so mounting drawer slides to the walls on each side here and having the toilet pull out on a drawer because you can get like heavy duty drawer slides that will you know be able to support the weight of the full toilet and someone sitting on top of it um, there's a prop there's a couple of issues with that for this though the main one being that this area here is not square this side wall here actually angles inwards towards this back corner so if I wanted to mount drawer slides I'd have to build something else in here to square it up against you know to make sure it was parallel to this one um, and there's a couple of difficulties with that the first one being that I want to be able to get this cover off this is where the tail lights are at the back behind this cover and if I ever need to change the bulbs or fix anything with the wiring in that section I need to be able to pull that off so I don't want to really build anything in front of it that's going to impede that the other thing is um, I don't want to raise the height of this floor that slides out any more than I absolutely have to because the toilet itself is already quite high um, and if I raise it too much higher, it's not going to be comfortable to use. So I want to try and stick to just the 20 mil, 20 or 30 mil height here, just enough to clear those bolts, but not enough to raise the height of the toilet seat off the floor too much. And if I was to install drawer slides here, um, I'd have to put them, I'd have to put this one on this side like a fair way in to be able to still get this out and have it straight compared to this one and it just means that um, it just makes it a bit awkward I'd have to then put the floor that the toilet sits on on top of those drawer slides um, in order to get it to fit and that would mean that the toilet's going to be way too high off the floor if I put the floor kind of on the bottom of the drawer slides then there wouldn't be enough room for the toilet because of where I have to put this. Anyway, it, it's just a bit too complicated using the drawer slides. Um, so what I've decided to do is just have a, f a floor that sits directly on this bus floor but can move in and out. And I considered putting casters, you know, little wheels on the bottom, but moving it in and out several times a day, if it's just on, you know, four little wheels, that's a lot of weight that's going to be pressing down in four points and I'm going to end up with dents uh, and marks on the floor over time. So what I've decided to do is actually just build a floor that has as much surface area as possible sitting on this floor so that it kind of spreads the weight out over a bigger area and hopefully there's less chance of dents and marks in the floor. So fortunately, because I don't, I don't need a lot to clear the height of these bolts, I can actually just use my 19mm thick pine, which is easy to get. And so what my plan is, I have, I have these shelf pieces here that I used to use for my market stall display, and they're, it's just pine, and they're 19mm thick. Um, but what I'm thinking of doing is using these...
you know and I can cut this piece here and join the rest of it that way so I'll make a, a base that pretty much covers most of this area and except for where the water tank bolts are uh, and so that will be the base that actually sits on the floor and I'm going to put some felt or some carpet or something on the underside of this so when it slides in and out it's not hopefully scratching up the vinyl um, and then on top of that I'll just have a thin ply base that will cover the entire thing. I've just done a bit of a template using cardboard so you can see I'll, the whole thing will be covered with ply that I can screw down into this and then my toilet will be able to be secured on top of that and then this whole thing will be able to slide in and out. Okay so this is kind of how it will sit. I'm going to put it on an angle so that when it comes out and it slides out this way um, I've just got like a little bit more leg room out this way. If I was to put it straight I'd be kind of right up against the fridge here. Um, so I'm going to be putting it on an angle so it'll slide out like this. Go back under there. And then the shelf, there's going to be a shelf above it here um, so that I can put a couple little storage trays under there for things. So it'll be similar to what I did in the kitchen back here. If I open this, you can see I've got a shelf under the sink here. And I've got these two plastic storage trays that I bought from Bunnings that just fit there under the sink, use up that space on either side of the drain. So I'm going to be doing a similar thing here under the vanity. And my plan is that in front of that shelf, there'll be a little door that will drop down so that I can access the things in there and then underneath that just to hide the toilet I'm just going to put a curtain so there'll be a curtain um, below the shelf and a door on the front of the shelf if that makes sense so the first thing I'm going to do I think is build this shelf under here because it'll be easier to do that when there's nothing underneath and just gives me a little bit more room to work um, so what I need to do I want the shelf to sit just under the bottom of the drain here so what i need to do is just run some extra pieces of timber um or something along here on each side uh and maybe something at the back that i've got like brackets that i've got to rest that shelf onto So you can see I've run some bracket pieces, one along the back there and two across the front here and they'll form the base of my shelf. So you can see the shelf will sit just under the drainage pipe there and I've cut this piece of ply. This is just 7mm ply. That just sits in there like that. I'm pretty happy with that. So now what I'm going to do is I'll just get this shelf out of the way. Uh, and now it's time to make the floor that the toilet's going to sit on. Before I work out the shape that this toilet base needs to be, the first thing I have to do is actually drill a hole in this back corner for the air vent. Because the toilet has an air vent um, that gets connected onto this. It has a big air vent hose that clips down onto that. And this hole goes out through the floor so that the air can vent out underneath the floor. Um, and so I need to work out where this is going because when I build the base for the floor, it has to like leave enough space around that um, to be able to fit the hose and everything on it. So I'm gonna have to get underneath the bus because I have very limited space under here. There's a gray water tank under here and uh, I actually don't know <laughs> if I'm gonna have enough room uh, to put this. Um, hopefully I will, otherwise I'll have to come up with some other way to vent the toilet. But anyway, so I'm gonna get under the bus and drill up in the space that I have 
uh, and see where it comes to under here. So I'm underneath the very back of the bus here. This here is my grey water tank. And you can see here, uh, this little bit of floor <laughs> between the tank and the steel subfloor frame in the bus is all the space I have to drill that hole from underneath. Um, obviously I have a little bit more space above the floor to fit that big flange but the actual hole needs to go somewhere in here so I'm just going to get the drill it's a bit awkward because I've got these wires and things in the way under here too so I'm just going to get the drill as close as I can to this back corner uh, and drill up through the floor and that's where the vent is going to have to go all right guys well there's my hole. As you can see, it's only just missing the tank and the edge of the frame here, but that's all good. It fits. So if I come into the inside of the bus, that's where the hole is. So the flange should fit nicely on that and it just fits uh, in there. So that was pretty lucky. <laughs> Um, yeah, so the toilet vent hose will clip onto that. This gets secured down onto the floor. Um, and then I'm actually going to use, I'll show you when I come to do it. I'm going to use a bit of leftover electrical conduit that I have that fits perfectly in there to create the hose underneath the bus. But anyway, I just need to know for now where that is going so I can build my floor base around it. All right, so I've got my floor base now. Slides in and out pretty well. Uh, now I just need to put the ply on top of this. And I already have my cardboard template, so hopefully I can just cut the ply to that size and then I'll just need to cut a section out in this back corner to fit the air vent. All right. And there it is with the ply on top. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm going to need to put some handles on it, I think, so that I can pull it in and out easily. But the next task is to secure the toilet down onto the base. All right, well, I'm just testing out the position of the toilet here. As you can see, I've got, I've got plenty of leg room out this way. It's pretty high. I'm glad I didn't make this base any higher than it needed to be because uh, I'd have to create a little footstool. But anyway, it's okay the way it is. So I'm going to go ahead now and attach the base of the toilet down onto the floor. And Nature's Head actually give you the brackets to do this. All right, so these are the brackets that you get. There's two of these. And you can see it just... Whoops, all the way around. It'll go like that. So these screw down into the floor, so they stay always attached to that. And then there's these little handles that actually screw into there. So when you want to empty the toilet, you need to take it out. You just unscrew it um, from these and lift it out of the bracket. So I just need to secure these brackets um, down onto the floor now. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swap the fan that circulates the air to the other side because the vent hose actually gets attached to the outlet where the fan is. So it's got an outlet on this side where the fan is also housed and on this side is the air inlet. So this fan will pull air this way. So the vent hose gets attached here and my toilet's going to be going in this way the vent hose is at the back corner so I'd prefer it if this was the outlet here so I'm just going to swap them over and it's easy to do they're just screwed in and these are actually interchangeable on the nature's head so I'm just going to swap that around to the other side and then I'll be able to hook up my vent hose to the flange in the floor there all right so that's my tiny little fan <laughs> that I've just unscrewed from here so now I just need to screw it in to this side and then swap this um, air inlet over to the other side so 
I'm just going to drill a few holes in this flange so that I can screw it down into the floor. It's like a hard plastic kind of stuff, so hopefully it'll drill all right. We'll see. Oh, super easy. <laughs> All right, so I've just stuck a piece of, I think this is 30 mil or could be 32 mil uh, electrical conduit that I had left over from when I did the electrical stuff. And it fits perfectly in the hole of this flange. So I've just stuck a piece of that in there. I don't really know why. I mean, I, I don't see any reason why I couldn't just stick the flange down on the floor and have like an open hole. Um, it's all going to go out underneath the bus anyway, but I just, I feel like this will help me to just seal up around where it enters the floor a bit better. Um, and also maybe direct the airflow down and out under the bus a little bit better too. Um, I can always easily pull it out and replace it with something else down the track. But anyway, this is what I'm doing now. So what I'm going to do is just um, put a heap of silicon around there to seal off that and also some silicon around here and then i will stick that through and screw it down onto the floor is there coming out from under the floor I've just covered the underneath of this with some um, felt just to hopefully protect the vinyl floor underneath as this slides in and out the stuff I've used is this I just got it from Bunnings it's self-adhesive it's really sticky so hopefully it'll stay stuck for a while I'm not sure how these edges will go you know over time hopefully they won't get caught um, and come up as it's sliding in and out. But anyway, we'll try this to start with. I can always do something different if um, I need to down the track, but hopefully that will work for now. And this is the top now. So the brackets are secured in place and I've got a handle here um, that I can use to help slide it in and out. I can go and install it in the bus now. All right, so this is the hose that comes with the Nature's Head toilet that connects the air outlet on the toilet where the fan is to the vent flange there that I've got in the floor of the bus. So, and this will actually just sit down uh, on top of that. But the one of the important things with composting toilets is that you keep bugs out. So this needs to have some sort of mesh screen on it to stop the bugs coming up into the toilet. Now I've seen people do a few different things with this. Some people use insect mesh. I'm actually just going to use a little anklet stocking because these are cheap, easy to get, easy to conform to the shape of the flange there. And if I ever have to, you know, clean it or it gets ripped, it's easy to just take it off and replace it with a new one. So I'm just going to go with that and see how it goes. Just going to put it over the flange like that. Push my hose down on top of it. Like so. And hopefully that will do the job. We'll see. And I'm actually just doing the same thing on the outlet for the toilet. And on there. Is that on? I've just added this bracket here to hold the hose up 
out of the way so that when the toilet's sliding in and out it's not catching at the back there. So the last thing I need to do is to wire up the connection to the fan in the toilet. So the Nature's Head toilet comes with this, um, which is the single pin connector that actually plugs into the fan housing on the toilet. And then at the other end of that, there's just the two little wires. So one positive and one negative. So basically all I need to do is join these wires up to the wires on my 12 volt cable here. Um, now I've got way more wire than I need here. Um, I basically only need enough wire to reach from like the back of that to the front of this where the when the toilet slides out. So I'm going to cut um, quite a bit off this. Um, so I'll be cutting a bit off my cable and also I'm going to cut uh, these quite a bit shorter which shouldn't be any issues at all as long as I don't um, damage the plug on the other end so we'll get those wired up and I should be able to plug the toilet in and hopefully the fan will work all right so I've got the nature's head plug wired up into my 12 volt cable there and I've got this is the wires coming from the toilet here. So I've got them wired up to the positive and the negative on my fuse block. Uh, I've got my fuse in there, so it should be all ready to go. So now if I plug this in to the fan outlet here, I can hear the fan blowing. So the question is, is it blowing the air through the stockings. I'm just going to get under the bus and see if I can feel air coming out underneath there. Oh yeah, I can actually feel the air coming out of that. So, excellent. Seems to be working. I was a bit worried that the stocking might kind of block the airflow, but I can actually feel a little bit of air coming out there. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully that'll be good. It's pretty noisy. <laughs> it's a lot noisier than I was expecting it to be. I'm not sure I'm gonna like that running at night. I might have to switch it off at night. We'll see how we go. But anyway, it's working. It's all hooked up. And I've just added a couple of latch bolts here just to help stop it from sliding forward when I'm driving. So we'll see how that goes. Well, there it is guys. Another job ticked off the list. Toilet install is done.